uh, I just want to address the last two things here, um, which may lead into the next question about, you know, the feelings behind that, the sense of personally what I felt when I heard that, and I think uh, a lot of our listeners and viewers are going to hear the same thing, that um, they're digging two relief wells that are supposed to relieve the pressure starting in August sometime, if that happens, and um, start siphoning the oil out of the pocket, which we don't know how big is. So I, I am personally concerned that uh, if this continues, the wake-up call with the spirits being inactive, and I, and I ask you or ask them a question, could they interfere, you know? And uh, is the wake-up call so severe that we're going to end up destroying life not only in the Gulf, um, human and uh, animal, or are we going to see this spread to a greater area? And when is intervention called for by uh, other intelligences that would look at this and see our behavior coming to this crescendo? And okay, so it's a wake up. Uh, yes, the spirits have the ability to to change it, to stop it. Uh, they're pretty phenomenal entities, mm -hmm. and they do have that ability. They are not going to interfere. We've we've done this to ourselves, and they want us to live it out. They want us to to be fully, fully aware of the ramifications of what we've been doing, what we've been thinking, how we've been thinking, how we've been living. We've had alternative technologies for clean energy, free energy, for a century. And we've thrown it away, we've hidden it, we've buried it, we've done everything that we can collectively to suppress it. The people in the oil industry have uh, dominated the issue and wanted all the profits at any cost. They didn't care about the poison. They didn't care about the danger. They didn't care about exploding wells. They didn't care about oil spills of any kind, the kind of uh, damage to animal species, um, plant species, our water. Very, very short-sighted. And the Spirit's message is, We've been really short-sighted. We need to. We need to fix that. Yeah. We need to. We need to change how we see ourselves and the world and our connection to the world. This is the healing piece right in the dead center. This is the broken well, and these are the spirits. Here's the little centerpiece here. This is the vulture. She's right side up. That's unconditional love, compassion. Uh, in this. The teachings, Egyptian teachings and um, Vedica's teaching as well, unconditional love and compassion can be expressed on the bigger picture in what looks to us like rather harsh terms, very harsh methodology. In Egyptian uh, lingo, that would be like the story of um, Sekhmet, the lioness. She's a wrathful deity, but she is the deity of ultimate compassion and unconditional love. And her idea, sometimes, when it's appropriate on that, that spiritual view level, uh, her view of real true compassion is to wipe out a whole huge population of something, a war, a famine, a, a disaster of some kind. Because of the bigger picture and in the long run, it's, it provides better things. It's compassionate. If that was not done, then, then more horrible things would happen to all the individuals involved. So this is their view from a much bigger spiritual scale. Get outside of time and space kind of a scale. Looking down at this issue 
This is a much more compassionate thing to do for her humanity. If we don't learn this lesson now, with this, we're just going to make bigger and bigger messes. We're going we're to have more and more and more disasters that we, we are not going to be able to pull out of. We will eliminate the human species on Earth, which would be uh, pretty sad because we're special. We have a lot of special things to offer the universe. We can eliminate just about anything that lives here. Yeah. And yes, this is going to this is going to spread. It's going to hurt an awful lot of life forms in the Gulf. And we need to see it. We need to smell it, we need to taste it. We need to see it in our pocketbook. Just try to find some good shrimp now. Uh, you know, people, that's, they just don't think past that. They want to go to the grocery store and, and look in the, um, you know, the fish counter and, and the freezer and, oh, there's gulf shrimp, you know. Let's buy a bunch. Let's eat a bunch. They just don't have any thought past that moment right now. This is what I want right now. And we we don't have any thought of the consequences and the things that it took to to bring it to the table. We don't see that. We don't see what we're doing to the water. This is a water over the whole planet issue. This is a poison in the atmosphere issue. Eventually, yes, we can figure out ways to address it. The spirits have talked about... uh, acquiring new and better technologies that will help us, uh, us earth humans, to be able to clean up our own messes. Uh, It doesn't have to take all that long with the right kind of technologies. And with any help, we'll get some of those from our ET friends. This is is rather uh, shocking. This this is a, um, a a shocking throw. I've never seen the spirits to say anything quite this devastating. Well, if you'll remember in our conversations leading up to this, which has been two meetings maybe, we were concerned about putting out content that would stimulate people's fear and anxiety. Uh, we may have done it. We did. <laughs> so so now, now you know. Hang with us as we go to uh, the next three questions. Don't let this be the uh, the end or the wherewithal of all possibilities. The spirits are talking here about lots and lots and lots of possibilities. There's all kinds of things just sitting there. Some of it we have. The government has it stored away someplace secretly. The industries have some of this kind of information stored away secretly. They just don't utilize it. And it's conspiracy time. Conspiracy, we talked about. We didn't it's, want to bring the C word into this, but here it is. There's a conspiracy to keep all this stuff hidden for money and power. This is the issue. And they, they're definitely hiding things. Here's, the, here's a little piece about hiding things. This one is, is hiding things. So there's, they have, for a century, tried to keep it out of uh, the public awareness and, and grasp and use. And it, it just can't stay that way. We can change it really fast if we want to, but we have to collect together as a total human consciousness, lots and lots and lots of people with the same desires, the same ideas, the same demands. We can make it happen. We can make these technologies become available. And the things that we don't have, we can either invent Or see if we can't finally make some interactions with our ET friends and get them to share a little bit. They aren't going to share it unless we're going to be responsible with it. Stay tuned. We have more questions and a lot more answers. 
more, a lot more to come.